your head every single morning. We never take that for granted. Right now, you are on Talk to the Pastor here on Rest TV, here at House of Rest, uh, Kampala Road, from Fido Dido, is where we best to stream live to your sitting room and to your television. We thank God for your life. We thank God for our Bishop Isaac Chowich Wewesi for giving us this platform and uh, to reach out to you. We thank God for every miracle he has performed through this program, for every life he has touched through this program. And we thank God in Jesus' name. Yesterday we are here and it was very, very powerful. We are here again to push you to the next level concerning our topic of, um, you know, God has a rewarding system. We want to awaken the church. We want to awaken you wherever you are. We want to remind you, encourage you, that God has not forgotten about you. God still has a rewarding system for you. He knows how to reward you. And if you go deep in the word of God, there are, there are so many verses that talks about God's reward. And still I have discovered there are so many other verses that reveals the rewards of God, but without using the word reward. Some other versions call it heritage, you know, an inheritance. Some other versions call it a blessing. Uh, but they all come together to mean the same word, reward. And of course, the rewards we receive on earth and the rewards we receive when we get to heaven. Uh, in the future there, we will be explaining about the five crowns we receive from heaven. In Wuretan, what five rewards we get in heaven? They are streamlined properly in the, in the scriptures. That when we get to heaven, there are those demarcated crowns that we receive. Paul talks about them. But we will not go into that today. Uh, today we want to see the rewards that we receive in our journey of salvation when we are walking with God here on the earth. Yesterday it was very powerful with a woman of God um, and the man of God, Apostle, the Bagumas. Let me call them the Bagumas. Amen. Yes, they blessed us yesterday tremendously. And we looked at uh, this gentleman in the book of Esther, uh, Morodokai, how he was able to be rewarded. Yeah. No matter the status he was on, no matter which level he was, but so long as he did good, mm -hmm. God could not overlook the goodness of Mordecai. He had to reward him. But today I want us to begin like this. Please invite somebody, call a friend to call a friend and tell them to talk to the pastor has started. So, so Munsasire, when they talk to the pastor in Uganda, nae uh, to mix singer. So, but today I want us to look at this verse clearly before even the man of God uh, goes deeper into what God has put in his spirit, and even before Mama uh, goes into what the Lord has put in her spirit. The question comes when we read uh, um, uh, Hebrews 11, verse number 6, where it says that whoever comes to God must believe that God is and that he is a rewarder oh my god yeah. mm. he is a what a a so hebrews 11 6 gives god another name mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. another yeah. name yeah it comes out from just rewarding you and they call him what he does they mm. call him the rewarder yeah He's a reward of those who seek him diligently. Mm. Oh my God. Amen. Because may deal with you people. Because you deal with you people. 
ndoza obukugu bwe nina kati miaka jena kamala mbulokozi ndi musawo wa ajanja bi mitawana jarani <laughs> waliwa kubiranga amenye so mutimu mananga amba pasta nunga soko sirike no nyinyo nyole pasta tunga amba kusirika tunga amba kusirika tunga amba kusirika ndeka ankawe chokari kusimu yo nunga amba kali soko kawe nunga mugu minkiriza na amba loka wanunga katiko tiri ndi tuogire wako chidawa so mpuli debi inji na yechi muku bintobi singo kufayonti Antwa ine nsonge gama, musumba nonye za mukama. Yeah. Mm. Na yenga sina chenda ba. I'm not seeing the results of God. And yet the Bible says, He's a reward to those who seek Him diligently. Yeah. Hebrews 11 <coughs> verse number 6. Awo njaga tan kirao. Can we define diligence seeking? Mm. What is seeking God diligently? Kubanga, if it is not diligent seeking, then there is no reward. Yeah. Yeah. It is clearly it's demarcated. Yeah. If it is not diligent seeking, Bobanga yesu uroza wajja kumuku ulabu kuzi, there is no reward. Obolo uza wajja mubi pinga kubu bipinzi, there is no reward. Manyama mm -hmm. loko leba anji uli omwa inobu loko lebo engerije ya sala ubu tambuza. Yeah. Yeka staya loko ka. Nafuna ye ngerize. Ufuna volo uji. Yeah. Ye nagama zika stanzi jako sande. Nesaba yeah. mba nonye za mukama. That is how I seek him diligently. Mm -hmm. Sisuwa achi. Kanisa. Sisuwa sande. Yeah. Walu agama zika stampe chimucha ngeiche kumitonyo miza. Mm. Mba nonye za. Ndi diligenti. Yeah. Mwecho za wentu wenonya mukama. Mm -hmm. Oli naga msumba siva kuchituti. Mbuli msumba lwa neta aga mpraise and worship. Mbera u. Mba u. Oba sisibie, oba sisabie, oba sikosi kastamba nga. I appear on my duty. Ya. Yeah. Nga zakalia. Bae mm. mbulie mwogi lako. Nti mulubulwe. Maleka msinka na mulubulwe. Mm. Ya vera nga yomu yeka alu ya dea. Limu guma tazala. Mm. Na inga nga mkama wato mpande mwana guma nji. Zeka ambere yotu ukilizolu waloru wa angemuli jo. Mm -hmm. So there is a way we define this diligent seeking. And mm. today I want the man and the woman of God to help us. Katanikene mama, Mrs. Waguma. Amen. Yeah, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We thank God for another opportunity he has given us to come here and uh, share with us the word of God. Mm. And uh, kindly pastor, allow me to to pick it from where we left yesterday. Maybe because of those who have joined us today. Mm. Yesterday we were sharing the book of Revelation, yeah. chapter 22 and from verse number 12. Yes. Yeah, and uh, God says, on the word of God says that, Behold, I'm coming quickly. Yeah. And uh, my reward is with me mm. to give to everybody. So God is telling us he is coming quickly. Yeah. He has not derailed. Yeah. And this is a promise that he has promised us. Yeah. And you know, when God promises, he is faithful. The yeah. promises of God, they are yes and amen. amen. Yeah. Mm. When he promises, he is faithful to fulfill. Mm. And now, as now we connect, we are now we are starting today in the book of Hebrew chapter, chapter 11 and mm. verse number 6. Yeah. Uh, the Bible says it starts by saying, for chapter 11, verse number 6 says, But without faith, mm. it is impossible to praise God. God. Yeah. For he who comes to God will believe that he is and he is a reward. Mm. So now we have started in revelation whereby God has promised us. And one of the things we have to know is that faith is the foundation of the promise. Mm -hmm. Let me repeat it again. The, what, the foundation that we stand on is faith. Mm -hmm. Faith is the foundation of the promise. Mm -hmm. And that is why Hebrew chapter 11 verse 6, they start by saying, without faith. Mm -hmm. Because that is where we stand. Mm -hmm. When we are doing whatever we are doing and God is coming to reward us and he is not going to delay then God wants us to continue doing whatever we are doing in faith. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. when we have faith in him mm. and the faith is the one which is going to help us to be diligent to continue not to give up mm. so the promise is there and the one who promised us is faithful mm. and so our work is to have faith in him to continue believing him that he told us he is coming soon and there is a reward he has prepared for us. So it is our work to believe that. Mm -hmm. Yes, you may look around and you see the situation is not good. Things, they are not working well. But God is reminding us even in this morning that we have faith in him. Because without the faith, we cannot praise him. Mm -hmm. And now, when we have faith in him, then we have to know that he is our reward. We who are seeking him diligently. So faith gives us the strength to continue, not to give up. No matter how situation is, we have faith in God. We know that his promises, they are yes and amen. Yeah. He will not fail us. Yeah. So we are able to continue persisting, continue waiting, mm. because we have faith in the one who promised us. Mm -hmm. So when we have that, knowing that the faith is the foundation of the promise, mm. then it keeps us going, doing good, knowing that one day there is a reward that is coming. My God. We are not going to quit whatever yeah. we are doing. Yeah. You are in the church. There are those who are saying, I've waited upon the Lord. Many years I've fasted. 40 days I've fasted. I've gone in 90 days. Nothing is happening. But God wants to lace our faith again. Because that is where I like the way uh, the Bible in Luganda says, Hebrew chapter 11, verse number 1, that okukirisa kwekunyueza. Because all of us we are hoping <laughs> yeah. and the promises they are there. Yeah. But what is going to help us kunyueza, mm. that we are not going to give up on sweeping? You are sweeping the church, whatever you are doing, what is going to help you to keep on going is the faith you have in God. Wow, that is powerful. Yeah. Yeah, that is very powerful. Yeah. We are not of those who give up. My God. I normally say that the quitters never win. Mm. And the winners never quit. Mm. I think as a uh, apostle is uh, going to add on that, I, I just want to mention uh, about my testimony, just in a few minutes. Yeah. I remember when, uh, before I got my husband, I was a youth leader. I was serving in our church back in Kenya for gospel. Yeah. And uh, I was a youth leader. I was a treasure in the church. I was playing the keyboard in the church. I committed myself to serve. And also I was being at the work. And uh, there are times whereby people, they started asking me, when are you getting married? Mm. <laughs> because I'm there, I'm busy with the work of God. Yeah. The years they are going. But as I continued serving God, I had faith that the God I serve, one day uh, he will reward, reward you. you. And you know, the reward when it comes is something that is beyond your mm. expectation. Yeah. I was inside there in the coast side of Kenya, serving God <laughs> without <laughs> giving up, you know? <laughs> and the faith of God is strengthening me day by day. Yes, mm. the years went, mm. and there were so many questions, questions yeah. but one day, ah, yeah, yeah. the reward here, here comes the reward. My God. Very handsome man. Mm. All the way from the land of Matoke. <laughs> of Kalo. <laughs> Here he came. And he found me in the church. So, the reward is you. Kati omisajja gwa mufunanga ampera. Jona deji gilizaba. Nenema gamba, God can give you omwana wabendi. Na muku wange ampera. Eh, Kenya na aliku kamera. Mukama mumpere yu mwana wabendi. Amuenga kumia mpira. Sharon ni mukama kumpere yu mwana wabendi. Amukuenge mpira. Omu sanja gofunye nge mpira. Nyumiranga amba mwabana abobu wala. Kangende kawo katono. Wanjo gira nyo na bo. 
when you came to serve your purpose, or my sad job, my tofu, I na kujanga pera. Mulekira wakwe pangira pangira. Yes. Ah, uh, musale pressure. Shaka mm. dogada. <laughs> but as you are sharing, something came. Mm. If you go back a little bit in Hebrews ten, mm -hmm. verse number thirty-five. Are you going to take a book on your head? Nangam bate musula anga. O kukiriza kwa mungu. O kuatula kwa mungu. O kuliko empera. Enene. If mama can read it for us. Hebrews 10. 35. It says. What do you think? Kunyueza. Kunyueza. It says. Therefore do not cast away your confidence. Togezo kusula. Ogumu wo. Which has a great reward. O kulike mpira enene. For you have need of endurance. So that after you have done the will of God. Ah. You may receive the promise. Akubakale kayo nyo. Bono malo kula. O malo kunyuera. O nyueza. No le mirako you endure. Yeah. Ate no koro kwa gala kwa katonda. Mm -hmm. Nori okuwa kufunevi suvizo. Embera. Njira yeah. yeah. kufunevi suvizo. Yeah. Ah. Because already God have promised us the reward is there. Ah. But before that. Wadu waya gala kufunevi embera. Na inga ajifuni la mkwa gala kwe. Yeah. Yeah. Nga tamaza kukola kwa gala mm -hmm. kwa katonda. Mm -hmm. So abawala. Nchino nchidam. Soko koro kwa gala kwa katonda. Okunyeweze. Mm -hmm. Ebigendo yeah. kutestinga bigenda kujja na yo nyuezeza bwono malokolo kwagala kwa katonda empera yo mwana mulenze egenda kujja nze nja kunyonyola nange mukama yampa mwana muwala ya mumpanga ampera banango omuntu gofu nyenge empera nyuma hanyumishobola musomba tuyambe ko kunsonga ya diligent seeking okunonya mukama oko kwaingira ko Hebrews chapter 11 verse number 6 Mm. Mm. He is a rewarder to those who seek him diligently. Mama, chitani se gulo unji nyachi fuse. Kaya njagalo otu, otu kwa atile kao, diligent seeking yeriwa. Muma ze miaka mukatonda. Kazi watu ya liyeri ya weleza, muka mangana wali na kupake jinga. Kwe kaya nze ne unya muka mengeli ja, ja kola connections. Mm. Mamutu wa liyeri musonda ze Kenya, ona liyeri uh, mu western Uganda. Mm. <laughs> Na ye jengo liyamu kama ni rijanga liwa kasika, lisika, lisika, magineti, unasavire liyo na ye, hey! Makatala, makatala. Yes. Well, praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, I believe that the Lord is really taking these things deeper than uh, maybe we thought as we begin. Mm. Uh, you see, when we talk about diligence or reward, I think the word we might not define it uh, right now in a, in a world point of view, mm -hmm. but we're looking in, into it according to the biblical term. Mm -hmm. What is diligence? Mm -hmm. What is a reward? Those are the two words that we are getting there. Mm -hmm. But when you look into these words, uh, as we are sharing yesterday, Pastor, there are words that you talked about. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Revelation chapter number 12 verse number 11 that they said that some of the things are the testimonies mm -hmm. and even if we can remember um, when we were also when we finished we entered into lunch hour and uh, Pastor Isaac uh, Chwewesi our father in this house was also talking about a testimony mm -hmm. you see how they connected mm -hmm. and he was talking about uh, David. David and he talked about a sword which is the testimony mm -hmm. yeah of and uh, yes, of Galias, and he mm -hmm. talked about a number of things. So, which me, I thought, I, I believe that it was also a continuation, and God is speaking something that He wanted people to know. Mm -hmm. So He said that there are battles. Sometimes you fight where no man is there, mm -hmm. and there are promises that God speak to you as an individual where nobody. And those promises, yeah, they are not going to come to pass. There is an assignment that God gives you in order for those promises to come. That's why Hebrew. Chapter number 10, uh, you, you guys, you, 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 uh, could have called you, uh, in, in Swahili they say, Onanyemelea. 
<laughs> you sit and you listen to people's <laughs> to <laughs> people's <laughs> conversation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's why it's pure sir. Uli nyemere a message. Yeah. Yani umesikiliza vizuri yeah. yale mambo Mungu alikuwa anazungumza katika chumba cha ndani. Ah. <laughs> 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 eh, hey, katika chumba cha ndani. Meaning when God is speaking, when God is communicating, you are there. Yeah. And we know there are men like Elisha they used to listen even what the king could speak in his Bedroom. private chamber. Mm. So now when uh, your minister, the word that was coming was the same the word. Mm. Hebrew chapter number 10 verse number 36. Mm. Now when uh, we, are, we are looking at the two words, diligence and reward. You got that? But now Pastor Sarah has brought also aspect of faith. Yeah. So faith, yeah, in order for you to receive a reward, you must have the eye of faith to see what God has promised you. Even when they are not like, they are seen now. But you are able to see it with the eye of the Spirit. Say, God in the, spoke this. In the invisible world. Yes. Even in our prayer. Prayer becomes a sweet child of God. When you are praying and you are aware of what you are praying. What the Bible says in the book of 1 John chapter number 5 from verse number 13 and 14. Say, this is the confidence that we have in God. When we pray. Because Hebrew says... That therefore, whoever come to God must believe yeah. that he is he. Yeah. So in another word, the issue again come to faith. Yeah. When you are coming to God or when you are serving God, do you have that yeah, confidence that the God you serve is a rewarder? My God. You get that? Because that's faith. Whoa. Whoa. Mm -hmm. It comes to that. Yes. So now John says, this is then the confidence we have in him. Mm. Yeah. That when we pray unto him, mm. eh, according to his will he hear our prayers and now it adds i say therefore now we know that we have the answer into what you have asked of him mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you get so now it means this diligence or this reward yeah comes from the thing that the lord has spoken unto you mm. concerning the things now it brings me back pastor when i was looking into this when you are speaking, the Lord took me to several scriptures because the Spirit of God will connect to some things. I looked into Malachi. Malachi, usually, we look into it only we remember Malachi 3.10. It's the see. most fam fam famous, you know, when we talk about Malachi, the so only good. scripture is that. Maybe the second one will be uh, chapter 4 whereby I will send the Spirit of Elijah. Yeah? Elijah will come. But the most favor favorable verse is around Malachi 3.10. But when 3.10 is a continuation of the statement from above, the Bible says, therefore, eh, the king that you have been seeking, I will come. But that king you have been seeking will surely come in his sanctuary. Yeah? And the Bible says, he will become, he will come, he will be like a refiner mm -hmm. eh, mm -hmm. of God. Yeah. Eh? And his reward will be with him. And the Bible says, therefore, he will restore the house of Levi. Why Levi? Levi stands for the church as a priest. Mm -hmm. Now, for a long time, when you begin to look in Isaiah 45, mm -hmm. yeah, God was looking for a man who is called in his own, by his own name, so that God can show his goodness, but he could not find one. And God decided to pick Cyrus, who is not a believer. And he said, I'm going to use Cyrus for building my house. Why? Because God failed to get someone and his agenda to build the house could not stop. So he had to pick Cyrus. But now in verse number 18, he defined it. He said now, Jacob, I have decided to use Cyrus simply because Jacob, who is now the seed of God, the promise of God, the blessed of God, has not taken his place. Then he says, yeah, I have called you. For you, you think I've called you just for nothing. Verse number 18 and 19. He said, I've called you. I'm God, the creator of heaven and earth. I've not called you to serve me in vain. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you seeing that? Yeah, yeah. So the promise, eh, for me serving God, when God called me over 20 years back to come into ministry, I was in this city of Kampala, just here at, at, at William Street. I was doing my business. Yeah, I was doing well as a young man. But one of the things that God told me, told me, when you serve me, eh, I will bless you. So, from the, that time 20 years ago, I had never gone anywhere to look for a job. Job had been looking for me. 
I've worked in Kenya in one or in some of organization that I've never written my application to go. I don't know who took them there. They called me. I've worked with one of the leading media stations in Kenya, Transworld Radio, for years. I never wrote any what? Any letter to ask. But you find God divinely bring you into a place. Why? Because when God calls you, he gives you an assignment. So when you are talking about a reward, someone must, what must come to someone's mind is what has the Lord called me to do? Where that has God positioned me? So there is that level of understanding. So I want to speak to somebody there. That if you are sure that where you are, it is God who planted you there, child of God, don't complain. Mm -hmm. Something is about to come. In that what you're doing, diligent, do it, diligent, without complaining, God is about to surprise you. Because he says, I am the Lord God who teaches you how to make profit. I pray that that business, that ministry, mm -hmm. whatever you're doing, whether it's a marriage, in that assignment where you're in, God is going to bless it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh my God. Amen. Oh my God. Bigambo bya manyi nyebyo. Tuagala ogenda kuwe simu yo nga tuvude bitumaze okuva mbulango. Otubulire. Gwe chicho oyita okunyikira okunonya katonda. Mhm. Mm Program eno bajita yogera no musumba. Mhm. Mm Tukunyonyode. Ezimu kusonge zivudeyo. Cheba ito okunye kilo kuno nya katonda. Mm -hmm. Kwe kumuno nye za moku kiliza. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Chochi wandi keche chisoka. Yeah. E choko vili. E chivudeyo moku nyonyola. Cheba ito okunye kilo kuno nya katonda. Kwe kunyweza. Eitha katonda chia kugamba. Mm -hmm. O ichigambo cha katonda. Okunyweza oku kiliza kwa. Mm -hmm. Nga buono nya. E choko satu. Chetu nyonyo de muku nyikiro okunonya. Oshavolo fune mpira. Kubade kufu okulaba. Nga muku nyikiro okunonya. Olimuku wagala kwa katonda. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. It's true. Mm, mm. Olimuku nyikiro okunonya. Na yoli muku wagala kwa katonda. Mm -hmm. Onyirutu gamenti. Onga muma zokola. Okuwagala. Orugande gambe vyala giruwa. Vyala giruwa. Muli fune vyasu ubezi. Vyasu ubezi wabili wakemu kwa nivitia. Bije. Botu nulila Ibrahimu nga anonya. Nga Ibrahimu ya anonya katonda. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Era mulovele velie kuminatano. Nyo lusoka. Mukama amuvira yuna mgamba Ibrahimu. Amunonye zio kufa musule kuminebili. Mm -hmm. Kati atuse musule kuminetano. Ya. Yeah. Sula satu za kaita u. Saja anonya. Mm -hmm. Mukama na mgamba na mula wikila mchiloto. Mkuhole sewa na mgamba mm -hmm. Ibrahimu. Totia. Mm -hmm. Mm. Toko lachi Stegeza wakati mu diligence seeking Walu yeah. wawati ya nebabivamu mm -hmm. Gamba Ibrahimu totia mm. Luwachi taina kutia Amujuki za namga nze nga boyo Nginda mm -hmm. kuku umina muku nonya mm. Ate nze mpera yo I am mm. exceedingly Reward. Great reward, reward. Amen. Amen Nina chenda vye Nti katona walabu mutima gunga gumaliri denyo Akwera ganga Mpira. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. katika nyonyole muka. Yes. Mm. Taga mangenda kuwe mpira. Mm -hmm. Buwala baba Ibrahimu ngabali sold out. Yeah. Yeta gamba jiko ipe mngenda kuwe mpira. Agamba ngenda kuwe wanze nge mpira. Mm. Mm. Amen. Mm. Eyolevu ondala. Mm -hmm. God can reward mm. and God can be a reward. Ayoso, yeah. To somebody. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yoso wa yali adivaidinga esi ye kanani. Yeah. Mubike kumine bibi. Mm. Ya mungamba aba yuda bafuna. Chikacha yuda chafuna. Bagadi ne bafuna. Mm. Barau beni ne bafuna. Bolivika ne bifuna. Naga abo chituwa kwa levi. Naga abo teba ina mungamba. Abo mbeya ulide. Nze mungamba kwa awe. Abo njaga lanze bampe mbeira. Mpeira ya awe. Mm. Yes, so wali wo levo jyotu uka kongo. Nga muka malago maliri doga manze. Chiba chime. Mm. Siva kwa yesu. Mm. Nja kumuno, yeah. nyakagu wakeke eto nye Nye wajajo oli mm -hmm. Nga gweze ndi mperayo yes, Yeah yes, and, and one of also the things that will help us To be diligent In serving God, in seeking God Is by knowing The promise Or yeah. knowing the reward mm. oh. God revealed to us And I normally say that If you can see You will be able to possess Wow. 
So many times God reveals to us the reward that he has for us. Mm. You see, in Genesis 12, mm -hmm. God That's revealed <laughs> the reward yeah. to yeah. Abraham. Hmm? Genesis 12, he revealed, he revealed the, reward. the reward. He told him, number one, I'll make you a great nation. Come on. So that is the reward. Yeah. Mm. And when you lead all of them, they are seven. They are seven, yeah. But when you count from Genesis 12, mm. and it uh, took, I don't know how many years. Yeah. But what is making Abraham to be diligent, mm. because mm. he know the reward. Yeah, he has the clear picture of what God has for him. Yeah. And even though he don't have it for now, but mm. he know the one who promised me is faithful. faithful. Mm. And what he told me, it shall come to pass. In other words, mama. Hmm? Tano nyeza mokavuyo. No, Tali mokutebeleza. Uh, uh, ah, it's uh, not confused. Mm -hmm. Tali mokutebeleza kanemu kanapi. You know, oba mbuno nya nampa, oba nampa chino, oba nampa chino. The God we serve mm -hmm. was very clear for him. It's not the order of confusion. Yes. Before I met my husband, I thank God that he is here. He knew the number of my shoe. Uh, and even he had bought that the shoe. Size. He, the size. He <laughs> knew the size. <laughs> so even though he could meet other girls, <laughs> he knew the reward. <laughs> 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 but Eranze ruhinda kuulile wafe mbo huulila. Ne njene kemi mbuzo vya angeli uwe na kufu. Nenga mwe ni mufuno mbulu unji katika ambiku mbuli za wano. Eseo. Nga bantu wa talk to the past ino ye familia yagi. Nga kweli. Na gambo mwamyo. Nti ya genda na agule yengatu. Echikacha sezi yengatu. Oba mukama ya mulaga mkwole sewa. Oba ya mulaga chigene cha mchala. Na ajiteka mnyumba. Miebi gambo vya. Mbuka kati walu wa buruganda. <laughs> Beyala bala bangao uh -huh. Yosa na ya galo kasuka yechi gamu Na inga watu nulile chigere eh, chie uh, Na inga toya Na inga toji ya gula Na toba machi Haa nge chigere Bilo bili inga liato <laughs> <Chochi, laughs> <inga liato. laughs> <laughs> Na gamu no siye ye yeah. Mbuna yo uruganda Mbuya musisinkani <laughs> Na ala be chigere Na ala wane inga to <laughs> Na gamu mkamo ze mwesara This ah, is the one <laughs> Because, because now I want to just <laughs> finish that point mm. that God, He don't want us to be confused as we are diligent seeking, seeking Him. him. Mm. 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 <laughs> he give us the clear picture of what He has for us, <laughs> so that you will not be diverted. <laughs> No. <laughs> you have to get you have to be revealed by God. Don't okay. just buy. <laughs> so now I was saying that um, mm. he, God he normally revealed to us the reward. Yes. Mm. Before it comes. Before it comes. Mm. So that we can now kunyikira mm. knowing what we are waiting <laughs> for. <laughs> <laughs> so mm. now, in, in, in Genesis 12, mm. Mm. here God revealed the reward to, you, to, to Abraham. Mm. Seven. Mm. I'll make you great nation. Mm. Who, I, I believe I'll all of us. I'll, I'll bless you. I'll make you a blessing. Uh, you make can, a blessing. Uh, let, let's, let's begin with the first one. Mm. He said, mm. I'll make you a great nation. Mm -hmm. But remember, the man he's talking to him, he don't have a child. He's barren. Yeah. Mm. And how can you be a great nation without a child? Mm. So now all the others, the six of them fall. They fall under mm. that. By the, that's the call. Mm. You know, mm. he start by that. So he, in his mind, he know one day I'll have a child. Mm -hmm. But it took years. Yeah. But now here uh, in the book of Romans 4, mm. then we conclude by that. Romans 4, verse number 19, the mm. Bible says, and not being weak in faith, yeah. Abraham, Teala Fuya, weak in faith, Tan Teana Fuya, Teana Fuya, Catigora Wali, Oli Dina Mokama, Tana Fuya, Tana Fuya, don't be weak. I hear you. Because the moment when you become weak, you not be diligent, be like mm. Abraham, ma, 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 don't be ma. weak in your faith. Mm. It doesn't matter how long. Mm. 
but when he kira mukama he was not weak in faith i'm telling you but he know what god has for him na inga te yera bidde doboze eliaso te wali kunafuya wa itunyumize kaka wa matugenda mbulango leko 